G'day, we're two blokes. I'm Matt. I'm Tim. A bit of a burn now you get Oh, that's okay. I mean, this whole show really is about trying to get guys to cook for the girls in their life. And how many beers it takes to cook for the meal. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we've got a bit of a theme going here. We're starting off... A little with... bit of garlic. Well, just a little bit. Actually, there's going to be a lot of garlic. We've got um, some appetizers to start with, and then we're going to go into a, just a simple little Aussie barbie. The secret with, uh, with all, the, all the appetizers, they all feature garlic in some form. So we've got uh, baked garlic, we've got sliced garlic, and we've got garlic disguised in yogurt, so it's pretty much everywhere. Uh, and then we'll start off with a bit of wine. We like to drink as we go along. Well, see, a lot of my meals I, I, I gauge in how many beers it takes to cook the meal. <laughs> Today I'm road testing a, a fantastic little beer called Full Sail. And I might add, it's very nice. Now, when Maddie drinks beer at the same time, the actual volume increases throughout the meal, so it starts to go up rather, rather sort of vigorously. So we have a lot of, a lot of yelling in the kitchen. But I'm going to start out with a bit more something civilised for this lovely lady over here, Carrie, who's our assistant today, helping us out and actually taste testing a few things. So we'll start off with a little cheeky little Chardonnay from uh, our home country, Australia. Excuse me, Timmy, but if you like. as you can see, um, we don't do things by halves in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, you know, it's a, it's a rather large bottle, but we'll be fine. We'll see how we go. We'll see if we can finish that before about uh, main course. So here we go, crack this little poppy up. With the barbie, what I've decided today, we're going to have some baked veggies, which are really, really simple. We've got some baked spuds, you just chop them up simply. You don't skin them because the skin's a good part. The other thing is that we're going to put some sweet potato in there. We call it sweet potato, you guys would call it probably yams. So what I'm going to do here, you heat your oven to about 425. Okay, and oh, yeah, excuse me one sec, I just interrupt there. You, do, oh, you actually refer to this often in the supermarket as Kumra, which sounds like a uh, knee inflammation or something. Yeah, so well. it's not like an athlete's, an athlete's sort of a problem. Or well, something you get in the showers. <laughs> <laughs> athlete's foot. What do you think about Kumra? Do you like Kumra? Sweet potato, yam? It's very good. Very good Popular yam. around Thanksgiving. Now, I, I love to just throw a bit of rock salt on mine. You throw a bit of rock salt on there. Because we've got to get these things going. They, cook, they take about an hour in the oven. Really simple stuff. You don't put too much oil on veggies. That's the, that's the secret. Just a little drizzle. Okay, a little drizzle on there. You separate them a bit. It's quite fresh flavours. Olive oil is great for you. Always use a good olive oil. That's and while, while you're talking, I'm getting a bit thirsty, mate. I'm sure Carrie is as well. Carrie. So with wine, guys, with a decent sized glass, what you normally do, you only fill it up to where it starts to curve in. Just in there, so that should be about enough there. You don't want to fill it to too much of the glass, uh, otherwise it gets a bit, bit powerful. It gets too warm pretty fast, so cheers. Try a little bit of this is a little Chardonnay, a little, a little dry white from Australia. Now what I always like to do too, this is a great little pub I, I, I had in Australia, used to drink at. Um, fantastic, but you always drink beer in Australia with a beer cooler. You have to, it's got to be cold. Well, okay, I'm going to start off with one called uh, Tzatziki, which is basically a, a Greek dip. A little old uh, Greek lady showed me how to do it. The secret with um, this is, it's all based around the cucumber. But the secret is, well, the first time I made it for myself... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> The first time I did it by myself, I cut the cucumber up and just put it straight into the bowl. But the big mistake was, as you'll see in a second, is you need to squeeze it. So we'll just get this going here. So you just peel them away like this. You can leave a little bit of skin on. Just a little stripe like that, actually, because it's not bad for you. The secret in the old days, a lot of people when they had baked dinners and stuff in Australia and things, they would, they would basically peel their carrots and everything like that, and, they, and they're all their sort of veggies. But actually, in the actual fact, the main health health sort of ingredient is in the skin itself. So let's keep that going. So we just cut this off like this, get it in a decent sort of shape. There we go. And um, this one comes in very handy. This is the older, the greater. Excuse me, Timmy, you need you some uh, garlic cut up for that, don't you? I do, Mike, so better get you can bounce some of that. What's you like garlic, though, no, this is a bit of a problem. Because the, the, the thing is, right, when you go out on a date and you're trying to impress the ladies, what about garlic? Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it okay? Garlic's a bad idea. If you're both going to have it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't recommend garlic on a first date. Maybe a second. So it's, it's garlic, it's the smell of garlic and also the parsley between your teeth is bad on Definitely. the first date. Definitely. Yeah. So we're yeah. trying to avoid that. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot more guys are getting into cooking and I think that's wonderful. How much of the likes to go in the kitchen? Is it a good thing, you think? So the bike it's a cooking? good thing. Yeah? Yeah. Is it a turn on to have a fellow cook for you? Definitely. On a, on a date or something? Definitely a yeah. turn on. Yeah. We're doing the right thing then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope we know what we're doing, huh? The secret here is not to not just slice your fingers off as, you, as you're grating away vigorously. Seeds and stuff tend to go everywhere, but there's so much water in these things that it's, it's a bit out of control. Um, I just got a, 
to show the guys one thing. Um, now this is a cheeky little garlic number. <laughs> Whole cloves of garlic. What we're going to do with them? Into a bit of uh, alpha oil. Okay. Now this is for a little um, entree later on. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Appetizer. Appetizer in Australia mm -hmm. we call it entree. You just drizzle a little oil in there. Over the top. Like that. And what happens then? This gets crunched up. That's how simple it is. You just crunch him up like that. Crunch him up like that. Two balls. Like that. Straight in the oven with the veggies. Secret here is, guys. So I've, I've shredded it all. Okay. So, nice and clean hands. You get in there like this. Excuse me. Get a big area there. Go past and get you get over it. the sink and you squeeze the daylights out of it. Look at all the water that comes out of it. It's amazing, actually. Um, and that makes it because you're going to mix that in with um, yogurt, that's going to make it nice and sort of uh, moist, but not, not too runny. You don't want too much runny water in there. Look at the water that's coming out already. It's a stack. So you give it a bit of a squeeze. Ah. This, this, this is the secret to tzatziki, actually, is doing just that. Uh, getting all the water out. I'm ready for a little bit of garlic from you when you get a chance. Okay, big fella, I'm just going to cut some garlic. I find, also, you keep your garlic in the fridge, and it makes it easier to peel. What do you think of those packaged garlics, though, mate? Oh, mate. What's better than just good old yeah. garlic straight out of the supermarket? The packaged stuff is... You know, I think you stink more. Yeah. Loses the flavour. Doesn't no, matter. No, like, well, how about you, Karen? <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know the difference between fresh oh, and packaged. Other secret ingredients uh, for the tzatziki. It's basically a garlic. It's a garlic and yoghurt and cucumber base. But you've got to throw in a, throw in a lemon, juice of a lemon. So you get in there, normally you'd get rid of all the seeds. This actually gives it just a little bit of a kick. You don't want to overpower the, the taste of garlic in the tzatziki because it's pretty strong. Just get a little bit of... A little bit of uh, How many cloves would you put in that, Timmy? Uh, no more than a bit, depending on the date, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, good call. If you're trying to get rid of the girl, okay, you put in about two or three. If you're kind of hooked on the girl, I, I'd go for one to maybe two. So the six you know? or seven I've got here, no good? No. <laughs> What are we going to do with this extra stuff? Oh, we'll be using that. Okay, no problem. So the thing is, right, you have a few wines, you have a few beers, you know, cooking's fun. Get into it. Don't just go out all the time. It's much better for you to eat at home, eat healthy food. And and guys, the, I mean, this whole show really is about trying to get, you know, guys to cook for the, for the girls in their lives, for their, their wives, their, their, their girlfriends, their, their lovers, whatever, whatever the case may be. And I think the secret really is... Um, as you say, it gets out, it relaxes you. If you've got time, it's, it's a great relaxation. It really is, I think. Um, and Maddie and I have been doing it just to keep our wives happy. You know, keep them going and stuff as well as far as cooking. But uh, it, it is, it's a great form of relaxation. It's, nothing, it's the worst thing to do when you're in a hurry, is to try and cook, because you can wreck it, sort of wreck the whole ingredients. But my old man was a pretty good cook, and his, his line was, if you, can, if you can read, you can cook. That's pretty true. And it doesn't take long. No. You know, it really doesn't. You know, stress, you know, wind down at the end of the day, talk to the wife, give her a wine, cook her a meal. You never know what might happen later on. It's all good. It's all good. Is that, that true, Carrie? Am I, am I oh, telling so lies true. So true. They say the fastest way to a man's heart is through his stomach, but I think it might go for the, the fairer sex as well.